so hi everyone today in this particular video we will be talking about how rag and graph rag differs from each other depending upon different criteria so depending upon the performance scalability cost etc we will be trying to analyze these two approaches and come to a conclusion which one should be used when so let's get started talking about the most important criteria the retrieval mechanism baseline rag uses embeddings and vector dbs while graph rag uses graph structures and graph databases so there are no embeddings coming into picture in case of graph rag while embeddings play the most crucial role in case of rag talking about the contextual understanding of the data baseline rag doesn't have overall understanding of the data so uh, if there are 2000 lines of text entered in the vector db the similarity score would be used and the extraction would be based on similarity of each sentence baseline rag won't be able to fetch out associated sentences or related sentences to the actual answer while in case of graph rag it would be able to get the associated information or related entities as well in the answer hence graph rag has a overall data understanding while baseline rag misses on that talking about application uh, baseline rag can be generally used with general question and answering systems or like information retrieval but when you are going for a very complex use case where you have structured knowledge or where relationships would be present i think graph rag would be a better alternate talking about complexity here i guess baseline rag has a winning situation because the implementation is very easy but in case of graph rag i think it is very complicated because you need to maintain a knowledge graph and maintaining a knowledge graph is a little tricky challenge the the major advantage of baseline rag it's is easy implementation and faster retrieval because it is similarity based but in case of uh, graph rag its advantages lies in capturing complex relationship and associated information so better at understanding and leveraging relationship between data points so uh, what is my assumption the results would be better for graph rag when you are going for a very complicated problem talking about limits i think we have already discussed for baseline rag it is less effective at capturing complex relationship but uh, going to rag i think uh, graph rag it is computationally very intensive and requires graph management so this is the major limit of graph rag also when to use i think it's very easy to understand when you when you have a very simple use case where you just need a straight forward retrieval baseline rag can be used while when a task is quite complex and involves relationships and deeper contextual understanding of the data i think uh, graph rag should be a go to solution example scenarios can be basic qna system or document retrieval while in case of graph rag it would be knowledge graphs complex qna systems recommendation systems scalability i think a uh, baseline rag is highly scalable if you are uh, adding more context you wish to add more data you just need to insert into the vector db while in case of graph rag it would be a little complicated because you need to alter the graph structure the graph knowledge graph that you have built talking about maintenance also here also baseline rag is easily a low maintenance guy because updates are very straight forward in case of graph rag it can be a pain point because maintenance can be very high as you would be maintaining a graph structure graph databases and a single tweak in the node can uh, might need an update in the entire graph integration is quite easy for baseline rag i think i tried integrating it one of my use cases here and i think it was quite easy to integrate so i have a first hand experience as well uh, i am assuming graph rag would be uh, comparatively more complicated because you need to manage graph databases and graph databases are not like any other databases they are a little tricky to manage so basically learning curve how you can understand baseline rag i think understanding is easy if you have a basic knowledge of how vectors work how embeddings work i think it would be easier for you to understand how graph uh, how baseline rag works but in case of graph rag apart from knowing llms and uh, other generative ai uh, knowledge you need to know a uh, graph analytics as well graph algorithms play a very important role be it relationship identification or be it community detection be it uh, generating the associated nodes so i think even understanding graph theory alongside generative ai is important hence learning is a little tricky learning is a little difficult in case of graph rag understanding is understanding graph rag is a little trickier part now talking about the last criteria that is the cost 
it would be generally lower cost the baseline rack because the infrastructure is quite easy but in case of graph rack it would the cost would be higher because computational powers are more you need like knowledge graph building would require you a lot of time alongside you need to maintain a graph so with this we will be wrapping up this video i hope uh, you understood the difference between rag versus uh, graph rag and different criterias and which one to use when i think from my understanding baseline rag should be used for simpler pocs or like simple use cases or where you need to present your results quickly but when the results matter a lot when your data is little complicated and then i guess graph rag should be your go to solution but yes deployment might be a little tricky as compared to baseline rag for a graph rag so do remember that so i think that for production purposes if your use case is intermediate or easy go for baseline rag but if it is very complicated i think graph rag is the only solution